Oh, you guys, blue fencing. Right, do apologize for that mid size, but that's a different story. Right, okay. It's a long wolf one today, and I said oh, I'll mention the plumbin and certain things like that. Right, we all know about my smock. This is a Miltec smock, size medium, and it's massive on me. There's a few things I've added to this, so. I'm going to actually show you that in this video because I'm showing things what I keep in my pocket of my clothing. Yeah, I do have all my clothing here apart from my belt, but you've all seen that before. I will leave a link to that in the corner or down the bottom in the description. Right, go back to the smock. This smock is mine. This is the one that I've been had for a few years now, and yeah. It's still going strong. Um, I don't recommend everybody to have someone like this if you're not into putting things in jacket pockets, basically. But I like this because I like to have things in the pockets. I've undid all most of the pockets because it's easier for me to get things out of. Like in this pocket here, I don't have nothing in here right now. In this one here. I have a big lighter on one of these lighter leashes with some two X tape wrapped around it. And beside that, I have one of my small pocket fire kits, as you all can see. If you want to see the contents on that I do have a video I will try and remember to leave that up in one of the cards or in the description as well so yeah that's all what's in that pocket in this pocket I have a small signal mirror as you can see I'm that organized I'm not that, that working on this kit that much at the moment that I ain't even tied off I am going to cut these in time, but I'm off yet. As well as a whistle. I do carry multiple whistles, by the way, guys. As well as signal, as well as um, things like that. I don't have nothing else in there. Up in this, in the um, shoulder pocket up here, I carry a large fat sharpie, as well as one of these Israeli bandages. That's just another hat I have. I don't really use it that often, but I do have it. Here is another pocket with a zip. And in here, I keep my emergencywaterfilter.com filter. I haven't used this. I'm never going to use it unless I have to, because this only does 70 litres or 18.5 gallons of water. That is it. And it does say if you use it once within 12 months, it's gone. So I'm never going to use this unless I really seriously sit down and I have to. But I don't. As you all know, I've got multiple things of that as well. I do have one of these um, survival cards. It's the fishing one. I'm not finished. As I said, I'm not finished putting this kit together yet. I've got to put fishing line in here. I've got to put other things in this kit. So, yeah, there's still a lot to change and lots of things I want to add. Back here there was nothing. Inside there's a massive pocket in the back. I don't know if you lot can see that. Yeah you can now. I don't keep nothing back there. In here I keep a buff. Some gloves. I've just realised it's taking a long time to go just through my jacket here. Here I keep an emergency shelter. One of those Tube tents. I do have the cordage for this tube tent, but it's not in here at the moment. I have a space blanket or a full blanket plus an emergency sleeping bag, all in that package. That's all. Oh yeah, and up here in this pocket, I keep a small pack of Papua New Guinea beef um, tender jerky. I am going to like, add in more food to this pouch, to this book, to this to the jacket. But this moment in time, I've got nothing. And that's just a thing what goes inside the pocket and in this pocket here I have nothing as well 
So that's the jacket. Moving on. These are my trousers. I don't like these are workman's trousers. I do have camping trousers, but I find these are more tougher, these are more resistant and better. So yeah. And all my trousers I keep another first seam rod. You will find redundancies in a lot of stuff, by the way, guys. I keep a toilet kit in my pocket, as well as a lighter. It's not a Bic, it's just one of the cheap versions of a lighter. A cheap lighter. If I lose it, it doesn't really matter. And on this side, same again, another mostly blanket, as well as same again, another foil blanket, emergency blanket, it's really bandage. And an emergency blanket, what I would say, what am I like, eh? As well as, again, some of common personal tissue. Yeah, so that's what I keep in my trousers. I do have a top and a pair of trousers, exactly the same stuff that you've just seen in the, that pair of, this pair of trousers, is in the trousers in this one. Exactly the same stuff. Why? Because I'm weird. I like to have things for emergencies only. I'm not gonna. Op I will op I'm not gonna open this up because it's taking too long as it is in this video. I do carry a. This is a merino wool jumper. It's not a thick jumper, but it does me really well with the jacket and that and a long sleeve t-shirt. I keep in that. So yeah. And this is all the stuff I keep inside my rucksacks. These are the vacuum seal bags I use. To keep everything waterproof as well as keep everything smaller and compact better than I got. So I do keep two pairs of socks and a pair of underwear in here. Oh so yeah, that's everything guys, that's all the clothing. Apart from you all, I've, I've already shown you the boots before already. They are the Combat Tactical Military Style, because they are military style, they're not actual military boots. Um, boots so yeah um, as i said you've all seen my survival belt that does come not that does come with me all the time they are, it does go on to here onto these pair of trousers when i'm changing them out it goes onto the other pair of trousers so that's them you've all seen my cowboy hat my level cowboy hat yes that, that i take that 24 7 with me 24 7 without fail i do have a woolly hat and a buff in my rucksack as well as a smag i don't keep that i am thinking about putting a smag in here but then again i don't want it too bulky and too much stuff in these pockets because this here i know it's my third line of, oh, is it my first or second or third i don't know it's one of the line it's one of my modular pieces of kits guys I like to have everything in modules where it starts from one to two to three. I have four modules for, yeah, yeah, I have four modules. So, yeah, but I do apologize that this video took a bit longer than what I was expecting. I do apologize about that. I do apologize that I'm inside again. So, yeah. So, please tell me what you think. Have I gone too mad? That's the question. Have I lost it? Because if you think about it, just in my jacket, my trousers, Plus my two pairs, my two pairs of trousers and my jacket. I'm carrying three of these, plus three of them, plus two packets of them, plus one, two, three, four, five, five ferro rods. So yeah, but we won't go into that. We don't need to because at the end of the day, everybody's unique. Everybody's different. Everybody's got whatever they think's best for them. So that's what I say to people: carry what's best for you. Don't carry what's best for me. Because what works for me may not work for you. So, yeah. Right, I'm leaving it here, guys, because we've just gone over 10 minutes now. So, thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please put the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, put the thumbs down, but please tell me why. Thank you for all your support. Definitely, guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.